Look, 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 look. I know, I know, I know this is what it looks like. Man, I know this is what it looks like. It looks bad. But you see me now. You see me now. YouTube. YouTube. What's good, y'all? It's Reposter here, and I'm back <sighs> with another YouTube for you guys, man. Another video for you guys. <sighs> uh, usually, I uh, do like my explanations of where I've been, my whereabouts, because it's been some months. So, yeah. Uh, I got caught up with a lot of main things I had to get done, work, school, and things of that nature. Just a quick summary of what I've been going. Couldn't really implement my creation of YouTube videos into the mix, so it's been hard for me to, you know, sit down and actually record stuff. But I got a lot of special treats for y'all coming up, so well. Uh, Stay tuned. So, yeah, I'm back now again. I don't know how long <laughs> this will be, but I am going to try to be as consistent as I can be until the next break happens because I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh, I'll be here consistent every day, every week, every month, yada, yada, yada. We all know that's going to be cap. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I'm done with the chit chatting. I just want to do my part, you know, which is give y'all good content. So, with that being said, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content because more content is on the way. And with that being said, enjoy today's video. What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's Reposter here, and I'm back. <laughs> yes, I'm back. Back with another one. Now, today, um, this is not a normal 2K video or gaming video that I normally do on my channel because, you know, my boy been consistent lately. <laughs> but, um,. <clears throat> This is a very special video for me. Why? Um, because it involves a field that I want to get into. So today, if you haven't read the title, I'm basically going to be building my very first PC. Yes. Clap it up, clap it up. Yes. So uh let me guys show you what let me show you how many boxes I have for this stuff. So, whew. as you're going to see, excuse the mess. Whew. Look at these boxes, y'all. I don't think y'all know how many boxes a PC come in with all these departments, man. Look, look at this, man. It doesn't stop, man. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. All of these boxes right here involve me putting into the PC but you know I'm gonna take everything out the box and I'm gonna show you what I'm using right now to build this thing so ah, man sorry I'm trying to still trying to get used to this thing man this YouTube stuff I should be used to it by now because I'm a consistent man out here yeah let me show y'all let me show y'all show y'all what I'm dealing with right now oh, we got the if you don't know we got the Ryzen 9 this is the CPU basically the brains of the computer this is what's gonna um, give us some good processing stuff some good stuff right here man but if you plan on getting a PC um, start getting some of your stuff now cuz this thing is on sale and uh, I purchased it through Amazon so uh, I will be 
um, pretty much send you guys the link to all of my supplies and stuff that I'm using for this video to build the PC. So don't worry about it. If you're looking for what I'm, I got, um, it will be in the description. So I got y'all. But yeah, we got the PC. Man, what else? What else? We got the magic keyboard right here. Lights up. You know what I'm saying? I think I got this from. I got this from. Oh, uh, Amazon. Pretty much everything I got right here is been from Amazon. So it might be one or two things that might be from I think Best Buy or some other store. But yeah, all of my stuff is basically from Amazon. Um, what else I got here? Oh, this one here. I have the. The game drive, the NWME. Um, this is basically a SSD. I know y'all not gonna know what that is, but you know. Yeah, good stuff, you know. Uh, I got here, man. It's so much stuff, uh, It's so much. These, this is my DDR4 RAMs. This is, I think it's the storage. For the computer, uh, yeah. And see, compatible with the Ryzen. See the Ryzen simple, same simple as the CPU. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh man, what else I got here? What else I got here? Got a whole Christmas list right here, man. But you know, it's a treat for myself. You know, something I feel like I deserve. Something I worked hard for. Together, even though I'm broke. Uh, this big box right here. This is the the fan, I think. Yeah, this is the fan that you will um, you are supposed to install on the CPU, the Ryzen box that I showed you. Uh, I will be showing how to you know put this in there. Basically, it basically um, cools the the CPU, the little Ryzen thing, because the Ryzen, it comes with a, it's a square, it's a little bitty square piece in the space of the CPU. And basically you'll be putting this on top of it and using thermal paste, basically like glue to stick it on there so that um, the CPU doesn't, um, what's the word? Blow up or overheat, that's what we're. So this is basically the cool it. I have this big box right here. This is the power supply. This is quite heavy, so I'm pretty sure this power supply is heavy. Um, it doesn't come with the box, of course. The box, um, this little box, black box here, it comes with the supplies, the, um, what's the word, the cords. So, yeah, it's probably why it's so heavy. The cords probably thick. <laughs> Like I like my women. Oh, oh wow. my God. <sighs> And what I have here in this little box is the motherboard. This is where you install the RAM. This is where you install the CPU, the connections basically. Um yeah, this is basically the I wanna say arms and legs. I guess. Hmm. I, I probably used that wrong. Whatever. Good stuff. Alright, what else I got here? I got some more DDR4s. So. More RAM, you know. I'm going to tear my equipment up. I just dropped it. Good thing I have a warranty. Um, Alright, hand the hub. Oh my god. The most expensive piece you could ever have. And man, let me tell you, if you plan on going on Best Buy and you see them on sale, they are on sale, but they are out of stock too. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ain't gonna find those bad boys in a good couple months, 
That's like you trying to look for a PlayStation 5 when it can't actually came out. Yeah, never. So, this thing right here, this is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. Again, you're not gonna know what that is, but this is basically the uh, graphics card, the GPU, you know. This is the expensive part. This is what's gonna get this computer to consistently you know play your games if you want to play your games and stuff this basically is going to help you continue to play those games without any buffering or lagging or <sighs> I'm out of words today <laughs> but yeah um, and last but not least I have Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Oh! My butt big. This is the tower for the computer. Let's see if it focus. Come on, focus, focus. This is the tower. This is the storage for where you put all of this stuff in. And I made sure I had a big tower because this looks like a lot of big equipment. So, yeah, it's a big tower, and I'm pretty sure once I put everything in there, it's going to be heavy. So, yeah, look at all these boxes, all this Christmas list of stuff that I bought to put inside of here. And the towers, you would think the towers is expensive, but they're not. That's because it only comes as a tower, you know, it's nothing in it. So, of course, it's going to be an expensive, but... This bad boy right here, depending on what you want and what games you want to play, this boy is expensive. This is the most expensive part. Man. So, yeah. Here's everything. And, of course, I bought you know some supplies for myself. This is the, um, the CPU. Not the CPU. This is my little toolbox for, you know, putting everything together. You know? something for me because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff so, yeah price wise oh. yeah huh. expensive okay first things first I think I'm going to work on the motherboard first so let me take this stuff out uh, this is how the motherboard came out looking when you open the box I don't know what's up in here. Um, well, if you don't know what the motherboard looks like, this is. You still probably won't be able to see this. I don't know. Give me a second here. So, this is how the motherboard looks. Looks, looks good. Looks good to me. Um, yeah, so. As far as connections go, this is where I believe the RAM goes in. Um, this is where the CPU goes in. Uh, I'm not sure what these two knobs are for yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a connection to something I can't think of. These are connections. Um, I'm assuming these are PCIe slots. Not really sure. I forgot, but yeah. So yeah, this is the motherboard. Um, I'm going to first. I'm gonna look at the manual. Um, the manual, if you don't know, is gonna be your friend because the mother, the manuals to all of this stuff right here is gonna tell you. Um, basically what comes with your stuff and gives you directions on how to use it and install things such as that nature so yeah okay this is better for me uh i hope you guys see a better view of it i think my hands are a little ashy but whatever but the first thing i'm going to do first is install the cpu and of course the brains of this computer 
Now, uh, for my research about installed CPUs, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. Uh, it's basically a clip on and go. This is basically what the CPU looks like. It's kind of heavy, but it's just metal. Uh, look at the back of it. All these pins, lovely pins. Uh, yeah, we gonna install this bad boy. So, um, in order to know how to install this correctly, um, first what you're gonna do is lift this little, um, what's this called? I'm gonna call it a lever. We're gonna lift this little lever up first because this is what's going to help it position it um, as you move this type of lever as you close it it moves so it can position itself and take it out and of course it moves out so uh, one way that you would know that you're installing the CPU in the right spot is I don't know if you guys can see but it's an arrow um, you see look at the corners of the CPU Look at the corners of the CPU. You see one that's, you know, a different color. Ding, ding, ding. This is an arrow that indicates that um, it's a certain way that this CPU is supposed to be installed. And at the same time, on your motherboard should be an arrow that says the same direction. And you're going to point, um, basically put the arrows in the same spot. So, well, mine is on um, this corner. So, now I'm just going to safely drop it in there. Um, I'm going to shake it around, make sure it's tightly in there. And then I'm just going to close this thing uh, like that. And that's it. That's all you have to do as far as installing the CPU. Then I'm going to check around it as well to make sure that. Ow! Ooh, my wrist. Sorry. I'll make sure that there's nothing, no corner hanging out from it. But I think we're good here. So that's the first step. Um, install the CPU. Okay. Next, I am going to install the DDR4 RAMs, and I think I have four. these out um, this is what the DDR4 RAM looks like so um, yeah and then the DDR4 RAMs they go easy over here yeah so the DDR4s go right up in here so you usually know that these are where the RAM goes to because they're all together it's four little slots. Sometimes other uh, motherboards have more than that, I think, or less than that. But usually they have four. And uh, for these little DDR4 RAMs, um, they have DDR3, DDR2, DDR1. But I think the popular one is the DDR4s. So, and these light up. So, um. As far as where they go, um, your motherboard, sometimes other, some, some motherboards have certain spots where they go in. So let's say we want to install just two. And just so you know, these RAMs, they come in as a set of two. So, so yeah, I'm going to look into my motherboard manual. And yes, you only way you will be able to know where these spots go to is on the motherboard manual that like i said your friend right there that's what's going to help you determine where these slots go to oh and also on the motherboard it tells you where they can go so i might not need the book um because right here it's on the motherboard it's telling me the spots that i could put it in but i'm going to pull it out anyway just to be sure. Okay, for mine, for my motherboard, it says that I need to install the first main ones, 
to my second line and the fourth line so that's what I'm going to do right now so I can install my first one in and of course the um, whenever you're installing RAM um, they have these little clips so you'll know that you put them in there correctly once you put them in there and they snap now, um, another way to, to know that you installed in there correctly is if you go to your computer, your operating system, and I'm not sure where, but it's somewhere that says um, where you can um, put, I guess, storage for these things, where you can, you know, whatever. It will tell you what kind of, you know what, I take that back. Another way you can um, determine where your whether your RAM is installed correctly is through your what is it called system setup I think I think that's what it's called the system setup and it's going to tell you what RAM you have installed in there and if you don't see a certain RAM installed in there that means you don't you didn't install it correctly so all right let me stop the chit chatting and. Put this thing up in here. I think this is the right way. Uh, let me. Oh, I don't have to take it. Ah, uh, so before you um, install the RAM, make sure you pull this thing back. I'm not sure if it goes, but I don't think both sides got to be pulled back. I don't think this side even pulls back, but they, they pull back, so make sure you pull these back, because I almost broke my stuff. Uh, let's see. Like I said, you, once you hear that snap, I think you're secured and good. And let me check it, make sure that it's in there. It looks like it's in there. So I think I'm good. First piece of RAM installed in there. I'm going to install another one. Of course, another one that lights up. They come in pairs of two. All right, and I'm snap this little switch back. Snap the RAM in there. And another thing, don't, um, okay. Get this in there and make sure. Yep. Yep, yep, and yep, I think I'm good. Another thing, um, don't rush into doing this. Um, this takes time course um, you can do these in however the time frame you want them but don't just please don't rush into doing this stuff because you could possibly damage equipment and, and stuff and if you damage stuff and you don't have a warranty on it that's what we'll have to buy another one so don't rush into it you know appreciate the value <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying right and then, all right, I'm gonna install two more pieces of RAM that I purchased. I'm not sure if it fits in here. This looks a little suspect. I don't know about these two. I'm not sure if I want to go through this. Yeah. They are DDR4s. So. But. I don't know about this. But I'm going to install it. Nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. I don't trust these things. I think these are going back. To Amazon. I don't know about them. I'm gonna probably get two more of these sticks and work on that. But you can install RAM um, 
later on but just make sure you have some on there you don't have to necessarily buy all four or however many you can install you could just get the pair of two and just install those two and if you don't have the money to buy the other ram or if you want to buy more ram you could just buy that stuff later on and that's what i'm going to do so next step um next step i'm going to do is I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Uh, I didn't think this video would be so long to edit, but it turned out to be so. I'm gonna split it up into like maybe three to four parts. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content because more content is on the way. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Trapped in the rain, slide on my sidekick, bust in your way. I've been feeling lost in the dirt, I stray. Running from the man with the blade, I say. Look in the mirror, does it feel any better? Magazine covers in my mama have